Hey, this is Haplin, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through getting a phone number. Having a phone number is super important in high level, and particularly for this lead generation playbook, it allows you to unlock the power of SMS conversations and or WhatsApp conversations. Not to mention, you can actually conduct phone calls this way. So, it kinda goes without saying, but this is a massive step in leveling up your follow-up game, which is what high level is really, really good at. I do not recommend skipping this step. So to start, we're just gonna turn the phone system on and in order to do that, we're gonna head back into agency settings. So again, if you're not familiar with this, uh, click in the top left-hand corner. I'm doing this live with you in this video. If you see a button that says switch to agency view, you're gonna wanna click that. If you don't see it, it means you're already in agency view. Your dashboard will say agency dashboard. Important to know the difference between when you're looking at an agency view versus in a particular sub account. But we wanna head to agency view and then go to settings. Once you've done that, there is a setting for phone integration. You'll wanna click that. And then uh, for you, uh, I had to click over to agency settings. When you see agency settings, if you have not yet, you'll be prompted just to activate Lead Connector. Once you see a screen that looks like mine saying you are connected to Lead Connector phone system, then you're good to move on. Let's go to step two, which is inside of a given sub account, we're gonna actually acquire a phone number. In order to do this inside of a sub account, again, go to settings, and then there will be a setting for phone numbers. And what we're gonna do here is once this UI sort of loads, we'll click the blue button that says add number. That will prompt a pop-up where we can just select any number and purchase it. It costs $1.15 per month. But uh, what I recommend doing is searching based on area code. If you're gonna be representing a brick and mortar business inside of this sub account, I recommend getting a phone number whose area code matches so it will already kind of do a little bit of work in establishing some trust with the conversations that it's conducting. And even if you're doing a digital offer or something that's not geographically restricted, I still recommend getting an area code that matches the area of your business or maybe your own personal number if it's more of a networking thing, but make sure you have an area code that is an accurate representation of your business. The way that you actually filter to area code is by clicking the filter button and then type the area code here. Once you have your area code typed in, you're gonna wanna match it to the first part of the number and then click apply. As you can see on my screen, I now have a list of numbers that will match the area code, any of which will do. We'll select one and then click proceed to buy. All right, now once that step is done, congratulations, you have a phone number. You can already use it for phone calls, both inbound and outbound, but in order to get it rocking and rolling for SMS, we're gonna need to take just one more step. In this current day and age, there is a lot of new regulation around business SMS or what's called application to person SMS or A2P. And that's a good thing because it keeps spam down. Don't ask me how all the political spammy texts still get through. Uh, some illegal things are definitely happening on that side. But for real legitimate established businesses, we do need to register our business in order to be able to send text messages as business. This can actually get quite complicated and is something that a lot of people haven't figured out. But lucky for us, High Level absolutely has figured it out and has made it really, really easy. This is the simplest process I've ever seen in terms of A2P verification. All we need to do is head over to the Trust Center. High Level has set up a really simple walkthrough process. All you need to do is click Start and then just follow its prompts and it will help you register your phone number so that you can send securely and safely with high deliverability and reliability. Now to help you out here, I've also included a link to a help doc that is beneath this video it has more details and strategies for how to expedite the registration process, how to troubleshoot in case you get rejected the first time, and overall just how to go about things the right way. As you can see in my example here, this sub account has actually faced a rejection because the uh, submitted legal company does not match with the US EIN. So something about my business information the first time this sub account tried to submit its A2P didn't match with proper tax documentation and so it got rejected. This is like a very legit process and you do need to make sure that you do it right. And the last thing that I'll say about this is that uh, facing a lot of rejections does actually have consequences. Uh, it's not bad if you get rejected one or even two times, but I think if you get rejected three times in a row, then there are additional hurdles that you have to surmount on top of making the necessary fixes. Uh, you have extra steps to take just so that they can verify that you are a legit business that has a legit reason to be texting people. So what that all really boils down to is the rule of thumb, which is that if you get rejected once, I highly recommend just reaching out to support unless you're super. So what that all boils down to is this one piece of advice that I'll share with you that works for most people, which is that if you fail the first time, don't simply just resubmit a second time. 
uh, without changing something. Certainly that is step one. If you're rejected the first time and you don't change anything and just try to submit again, it's just a waste of a submission. You're gonna get rejected again. What I recommend instead is if you do face initial rejection, hop on with support and make sure that they walk you through the proper way to get your brand and uh, campaign registered. Like I said before, high level as a software and as a community is like the most on top of this I've ever seen in terms of helping people navigate this complicated regulatory environment. That's actually rather new. It's only just came up in the past couple of years. And we've got a lot of resources to make sure we support you in being able to successfully use phone numbers, both for phone calls and for SMS and for WhatsApp, et cetera. So just to recap, click the link beneath this video, learn about A2P, go through the A2P process. If you get rejected, hop on with support and get our help live. Once you do submit, it can take a little bit of time for it to get all the way through, sometimes a couple of days, but eventually you will see in this trust center this beautiful green check mark saying approved, approved, and verified, which means you're ready to go and you can move on to the next module. Recovery, please.